look this up. Okay, we have 14.38 volts right now on the battery, but that's because the engine is now running and the alternator is giving you a charge which is above the normal 12.66 100% charge status. I'm going to go ahead and uh, move this on to the next menu here, down to the uh, alternator, and allow the voltage to stabilize. Now, do you have any air conditioning on right now or the radio? You want to make no, sure neither. there's no radio, no air conditioning. It's jumping around a little bit. The voltage needs to stabilize. If you have any kind of auxiliary, no radio, air conditioning, nothing, right? right. And then you can close the door. Because before we do this alternator test, we want to make sure that this stabilizes somewhat, and it doesn't seem to be stabilizing. It may have something to do with the fact that the battery has been so low that the alternator is variating right now to recharge the battery. So that would explain why the voltage uh, is not so stabilized at this point in time. But we're jumping between 3.7 and 4.4. 4. So let's go ahead and do a test on the alternator and see whether our diodes are good. Now you'll notice the sound of the engine drop down a little bit because mm -hmm. it's putting a load on your alternator. It yeah. says you have a bad diode in your alternator. Ooh. Your output is over 50 amps, but with a bad diode on the alternator, that would indicate to me that your alternator may be the reason why your battery died also. But the battery was low, but we'll find out what we can do with this. So. I can't really do a battery test at this point in time because the engine's running and we want to let the battery charge up. So that could be an indication that uh, your alternator is having some problems as well. After the battery's fully charged, we could do a load test to determine whether it's still good. If it turns out your battery is good, then it would be the alternator would be the logical conclusion of what would be wrong with your car at this time. Um. Approximately how much does this auto meter cost? Well, this For little unit, that might be handheld it unit, made in USA, is about $395. And it's a very good value compared to the Midtronics version of a handheld load tester, which normally runs for around $1,000 or more. Uh, this unit is available with a printer also that you can use to print out whatever your previous loads were and that would be this printer case right over here, and this is the printer, which is wireless, which you can just push print and wirelessly print that onto uh, your paper. Uh, yeah. This unit all together with the printer and the case would be about $600. Again, a very good value, a lot less expensive than a, uh, a competing brand. Well, it only took you, you know, a few minutes to basically find a problem that many mechanics wouldn't find in, there much, you go. in an over an hour. Right, exactly. Yeah. So this, with a unit like this, it only takes a couple of minutes to do a full test yeah. of your battery, then your starter, and then your alternator. Mm -hmm. And then it also has a built-in digital voltmeter also with ripple built into mechanics who need to uh, judge the uh, voltage variation and the voltage drop test as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a very nice tool uh, amongst all the other tools that are available through BBS Electric Battery Supplies. Thank you. Thank you very much.